dann vielleicht beim Hereinkommen haben Sie gesehen, wir haben eine kleine Ausstellung. Maybe you saw by coming in, we have a little exhibition. Hinter dieser Schrankwand, dort sind ähm, Persönlichkeiten und äh, Zitate. There are personalities and quotes. Psycholyse von der Antike bis heute. From the field of psycholysis, from the antique until now. Vor allem äh, künstlerische. And in the foyer we have contemporary art. From artists from the psycholytic movement. Some of them are for sale. So now we will hear a field report about the work with psycholytic substances about the psycholytic work. It's a description of very personal processes. So now we welcome Mr. Wolfgang Rang. Good morning, everybody. I'm the first to tell you. Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I was asked about talking about my experience with the psycholytic. On this Congress, there are many speeches about the use of psycholytic work for healing. I'd like to talk about inspiration here, which, which is brought by this shamanistic medicine in the field of art and in the field of music. I'm inspired by this medicine also to think about the nature of light, to create urban light rooms, light spaces. I'm interested in the non-visible as a frequency of light. For instance, the question, what is in this void between us if I talk to you? Is there also this light space, those light bands that some of us are seeing on psycholytic sessions or that are described in the book of Carlos Castaneda, The Fire from Within? This non-visible we try to make on the first congress with 140 participants, we try to make a visible. This was, this was a masterpiece of the course I was joining in. It was a cooperation with Matthias Dietsch and Ulrike Epping, Barbara Favrovic, Ulrich Grobusch, and Matthias Hofmann, who did a sound installation for this light circle. Please pardon the bad quality. Actually, it was very brilliant looking. If I look this 10-year-old film, I ask myself, what is happening <coughs> in between two lovers or what is showing up in a love beyond the rooms that you can experience on psycholytic sessions. For that room we don't have words or terms. 
what entities, what entities of light we would meet there beyond the visible. In my research at the time, I ask myself what a movement is coming in, in nature. For instance, what is the connection in between all, in between all the leaves in Amazonia? I just continue. Or what is coming out of an ice volcano in Island? and is going up to the universe. I had seven and a half minutes. Please <laughs> gi give me some more here. What is between all those plants? If you go through the forests in Amazonia, where no man has ever been. What is emerging on an ice volcano in Iceland? An active volcano that is actually filled with ice. What is pouring into the universe from there? Also here I have to say sorry, the original movie is a bit too fast. <laughs> so plus 30 seconds. What frequencies are evolving from a ritual monument, for instance in Mexico, or from the pyramids in Gizeh in Egypt? The challenge to make the invisible visible on a speculative way would not be possible without the mind expanding effect and the healing of the psycholytic substances. It would not be possible without all that. Those experiences are still in, in my mind and in my inner nature and are coming back like an uh, archie experience of light and frequency. And they are expressing their selves on an artificial way without me doing anything. Experiences that I would like to invite you to have and all the others. In 30 seconds we will be through. There are three parts from a film that I am working on at the moment in Frankfurt with many such studies. And 
and it's always about seeing like the like the speech yesterday evening so thanks a lot <laughs>